This ring is all I have to return to you. I'm sorry. Oh. Ninette's wedding ring. Yes. Look at the engraving. Forever faithful. Forever yours. Oh. Written in happier times. Where did you find it? It was on Ninette's hand, which was cut from her body. She's dead. On her hand? Oh, I see. Well, maybe you should take this back. I don't want anything that might link me to her death. Especially with her family asking questions. No. They're going to blame me. I just know it. Excuse me, sir. I have arrangements to make. Who knows? Absolutely. See you there. Hey, Franz. Yurik? Something, honey? A couple of Templar recruits went missing. They were last seen here. You'll have to be more specific. We do a lot of business with the Templars. Perhaps a few coins can loosen your lips. Are you trying to bribe me? You know, not all the girls here are for sale. I'm going to pretend that didn't happen. The Templars are the ones who want this information. We make a lot of our money off of nervous Templars that expect some privacy. I'll be discreet. Let me look through the books. Wilmot, Karen... Here we go. Wilmot came in here a lot. You sure he had time to be a Templar? The both of them last saw... Iduna, the exotic wonder from the east. Thank you for your help. Sure thing. And listen, you didn't hear any of this from me. We clear? Iduna, right? Do you remember entertaining a Templar named Wilmot a few weeks ago? Or Karen? Wilmot. Wilmot. That doesn't sound familiar. I know he saw you frequently. With a body like mine, men rarely have time to give me their names. They're too busy doing other things. Questions are boring. Why don't we have some real fun? Hawk, go easy on this lovely creature. You should listen to your friend. You've got one more chance to answer me before I make you. I'm just trying to make a living. No need to be cross. Who told you about little old me? It was Vivica. She showed me her books. That wasn't so hard, was it? So, Vivica sold me out, did she? That drab, pathetic little sewer rat. She will be dealt with. Just do one more thing for me. Draw your blade and bring it gently across your throat. I will 
not obey you! What are you doing? Stop that. Stop that now! What? How did she do that? Pleading ancestors, I feel like a fool. Blood magic. It must be. Maybe we can find answers somewhere around here. And then a cold shower. It appears our new friends make their home in the Undercity. Shall we pay them a visit? Back again? Sure you're not interested in my many, many services? I'm sorry to say that Nanette was killed. Killed? Why would anyone hurt... This is horrible. Thank you. Sorry. Taffy? Taffy? Yeah. You dare show your face to me again. If you know my skin, never. We should go carefully. Who knows if the blood pages may have someone to defend themselves.
How wonderful. More vessels for our experiments. Where is Karen? Perhaps the demons will find one of you suitable. Always the demon thing. Can't you people say no? I am not some hopeless waif that ran crying to a demon. I sought them out and embraced them. Go ahead. Try to give me to your demons. Good, good. The demons like spirit. If a few more Templars fall to the demons, we concede chaos in their ranks. How many abominations can they discover amongst their own before it drives the Knight Commander crazy? You're worse than a monster. Goodbye. Kill the vessels only if you must! <laughs> It over. Karen. Yes, that's my name. Oh, thank the Maker. I thought he had abandoned me. But is it only Karen? It could be Karen plus one. A very nasty plus one at that. The cage has opened. Thank Andraste. Any chance you can tell if Karen has an extra passenger? Well, there's one sure way. Uh, wh what was that about? If there was a demon in there, it would have defended itself. Looks like he's clear. Go ahead and leave, Karen. You've been through enough. Don't tell the Templars. I... I don't know what they do to me. Please. I need to go back. Tell them I'm all right. Tell my sister. I... I must go. When you talk to Sir Cullen, maybe downplay the blood magic angle. We don't need the Templars cracking down even harder. Do you ever miss... Blood mages have infiltrated your ranks. They've been implanting your recruits with demons. Sweet blood of Andraste. De demons? Did you say something about the recruits and demons? I didn't want to tell you, Masha. They... they were horrible. Those mages see the rest of us as ants to be crushed. They won't stop until they've destroyed the Chantry and the Templars forever. Tarani was crazy. Magic didn't make her that way. True. Not every mage gives in to temptation, but none are ever free of it. At any time, any mage could become a monster, from the lowest apprentice to the most seasoned enchanters. Mages cannot be treated like people. They are not like you and me. 
Surely that's a little harsh. They are weapons. They have the power to light a city on fire in a fit of pique. Mages are humans and elves, just like the rest of us. Many might go their whole lives thinking that. But if even one in ten falls to the lure of blood magic, they could destroy this world. For now, Carol, unless it is proven you are free of demons, I must strip you of your commission immediately. No, you can't really think that. Karen's fine. He's safe. Please, sir. I tried to resist. I never took anything they offered. I... I need this position or my sister can't eat. I've been training for five years. We conducted tests on Karen. He's not possessed. He can stay in the Order. I hesitate to ask what methods you used that you are so certain. Still, you have done much for us by stopping these blood mages. I will heed your request. If he has shown no sign of demonic possession in ten years' time, Karen will become eligible for full knighthood. Thank you, Sarah. Again. But without a full knighthood, Karen's pay is so small. I do not know if I can reward you as you deserve. I will handle that, miss. You have done the Order a great service. We will not forget it. It's better. So, someone dropped off a message for you. It's on the desk. Not that he didn't do his best to try and read it first. something dangerous in there. Here you're having problems with the bone pit. I can help. Ah, finally someone comes to help me. You look a bit unseasoned, but I hope you'll do. I had to suspend operations. My workers are lost in the mines or have run off. Serves me right for hiring Ferelden refugees. I sent others before, but no word. Perhaps they are putting me off. 
I need someone competent to figure out what is going on. I'll head there soon. The sooner the better. Each day the mine is not running costs me more than those miners make in a year. The bone pit is just outside the city. Any map will show it. Not here to sell today, guardsmen. Well, good luck to you then. I just lost a sovereign. Didn't think you'd stoop to our kind again. Indeed. Or are you not too proud to make some coin? No promises. But I'll hear what you have to say. Since you stormed off, we don't have anyone who can quite work your magic. If you know what I mean. I sent some men to fence a bit of cargo down at the docks. I haven't seen them since. I'd pay good silver for the safe return of them, or the goods. Consider it a deal. Good. Go to the docks tonight. My boy Price was supposed to meet our buyers from the Carta there. Maybe you can find out what happened. I do hope. Insist if you must, but Viscount Dumas will see no one. If you've news of Seamus, I will relay it to him. Fine. Tell Dumas my scouts have tracked the boy and his canary captor to the wounded coast. I'm taking a full company after them, and when I return, I expect him to make a show of the reward. So many to deal with one Kunari seems excessive. He may be tell the shop. The winters leave nothing to chance. Get out of my bloody way! Yes, what is it? Sounds like you have a problem that needs fixing. I have several, thanks to the base types who responded to our call. As I told the others, Viscount Dumas' son, Seamus, is missing. We suspect he was taken by a Kunari. If you would like to try your hand at securing his safe return, feel free. I have certainly granted no exclusivity to the Winters and their violent approach. The boy will be home soon enough. Declare it if you like, but the reward goes to whomever brings him back safe. A discussion you are welcome to have with the Winters, should you encounter them on the Wounded Coast. How much longer do I have to wait? How much longer do I have to wait? Not much room in the barracks, but there's nowhere I'd rather... There's Jevon's office. Wait while I explain our initiative. I don't know how they do it where you're from, guardswoman, but I decide the patrols, not you and your whims. You may have been put up for lieutenant in your first year, but I'll have no show-offs in my command. Have I made myself clear? Report to your post before I have you and your Ferelden accomplice jailed. A lot of yelling for doing him a favor. We killed a band of highwaymen. What does it matter whose patrol it was? It's not the first time he's made me wonder like this. Something is very wrong. So let's find out whose toes you actually stepped on. Then we should check the duty roster and see who was supposed to take that route. What have I stepped in this time? Threaten my friends. Not letting that one go, Captain. Aveline! I owe you for clearing the ambush the other night. Saved me a mess of trouble. 
Brennan, that route was yours? It was. Single patrol. I'd have been dead for sure. A guard can't handle a few bandits. I don't like surprises. That route had been clear for weeks. The captain reassigned me after he heard what you did, and I passed the satchel to Donick for his patrol tonight. The satchel? Pay and order assignment. Captain has us run deliveries to the outposts during light duty. It's usually just an updated copy of the roster. The satchel for that night was heavy, though. Anyway, thanks again, Aveline. You're a good one. So the satchel gets heavy the same day we discover an ambush? A messy way to pass information. And Brennan already sent it along. Another guard is walking into the same trap. I can't let that happen. Brennan said Donick. A good man. Donick, Donick. I've got his route. A night walk in Lowtown. Let's go make sure his quiet patrol stays that way. The guard. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. safe at night. Care to help out with that? I thought them coterie men had me for sure. I guess the whole thing was a trap. There were no dwarves when I went to make the trade. Just coterie waiting to kill us. They got the rest of the boys. I ran. I was hoping they wouldn't find me here. But they did. So will you be running home to tell Mama crime doesn't pay? My Mama was ripped in two by one of them big horned darkspawn. It's just me and my sisters now. Working for a Thenril's the only way to feed the girls. Why not take what a Thenril gave you and start fresh somewhere outside of Kirkwall? What do you mean? Most farmers will always take extra hands for the field, or girls for the kitchen. My father was a farmer, before the Darkspawn got him. I'd rather do that than work for a Thenril. I... I'll get my sisters. Please, make sure she doesn't come after us. I don't make my guards fight gangs in dark corners, but if you'd like to help... are plaguing the streets. 
I, I don't see a problem in giving them the fight. Fondonic is here somewhere. What do you know? I was told my old friend Thrask was advising you folks to seek me out. You were looking for the boy, right? Feign something. I'll tell you now, there's not much I can do for you. You don't cooperate, and the Templars will know you're helping rogue mages. Rogue? Is that what you should be called, just for wanting to live like a person, not a beast? Wish I could do more, but I need coin to live. Your lad Fainriel didn't have any. I pity any mage who is forced to rely on you for protection. I pointed him to a ship captain I know, Rainer. Sometimes he'll take on runaways. Took another apostate last week, girl I sent him. Might have gone wrong though. I heard rumors he took the both of them captive instead. If Fainriel's not in one piece when I find him, I'm coming after you next. Rainer in, friend. Was just trying to do the lad a good turn. Rumor has it, Rainer had the pair of them locked inside a Keys warehouse, somewhere close to Dockside. You want to go looking? You might find the lad before he gets ransomed to the Templars. Or worse. We must be getting close to the ambush. I'm not losing any regard. <laughs> said this route was supposed to be quiet. The seal of the Viscount. Office details, city accounts. Valuable to a guild of thieves. A sacrificial delivery with one of our own. Captain Jevon will answer. I think a bloody response is in order. That's not the way of a guardsman. Something Jevon has forgotten, if he ever knew it. This goes to the office of the Viscount. This will be known. The captain likes his thieves. Much. Let's see if they welcome them in prison. Justice doesn't let me get drunk anymore. I kind of miss it. You answer. Ah, sweet mother of Parth. You can't just run up on someone like that. Are you? The human the Fenril told me about? The one looking for work? I used to work with a Fenril, if that's what you mean. Yes, it is. What I mean, that is... My apologies, human. I haven't been on the surface very long. I keep thinking I'll fall up into that sky any minute. <laughs> Bartrand used to be like that. Got jumpy every time he stepped outside. But I digress. I need some help. Rather badly, in fact. Some product of mine has been... misplaced. The men who were supposed to deliver it decided not to. If you retrieve my property, I could reward you handsomely. 
I'll get it back for you. Sure. Add it to the list of things I'm accessory to. Oh, thank goodness. The gentlemen conduct their business at night in a little hovel within the alienage. If you have to kill them, then I guess it can't be avoided. But I'm sure they'll be reasonable. Clearly expecting someone. And the goods are probably in that chest. It's empty. Waste of bloody time. Who put us up to this? I guess we have no choice but to go back to Anso and tell it. Not the elf. Who is that? It doesn't matter. We were told to kill whoever enters the house. Now we fight! I don't know who you are, friend, but you made a serious mistake coming here. Lieutenant, I want everyone in the clearing, now! Captain! Your men are dead, and your trap has failed. I suggest running back to your master while you can. You're going nowhere, slave! I am not a slave. I a 
apologize. When I asked Anso to provide a distraction for the hunters, I had no idea they'd be so numerous. It appears we're unscathed. Impressive. My name is Fenris. These men were Imperial bounty hunters, seeking to recover a Magister's lost property, namely myself. They were trying to lure me into the open. Crude as their methods were, I could not face them alone. Thankfully, and so chose wisely. If they were really trying to recapture you, then I'm happy I helped. I have met few in my travels who have sought anything more than personal gain. If I may ask, what was in the chest? The one they kept in the house? It was empty. I suppose it was too much to hope for. Even so, I had to know. You didn't need to lie to get my help. That remains to be seen. It's as I thought. My former master accompanied them to the city. I know you have questions, but I must confront him before he flees. I will need your help. If it means fighting more slavers, I'll help you. I will find a way to repay you. I swear it. The Magister is staying at a mansion in Hightown. Meet me there as soon as you can. We must enter before morning. Always calling in getting rid of idiots, especially like thugs who target the Be streets ready. just because it's dark. <laughs>
Bones left a surprise here for us. I can't do that. Get a hold of her. Please, help me. Anyone. Get the hands. I heard they can't do no spells without hands. You know nothing of magic. you suppose she was? We should... Is anything here to identify her? Now that's just rude. What are they trying to do? Ruin my boots? 